Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the value of k for these given trinomials so that they become perfect square. So we'll be working on these two examples. To get a full understanding of this topic, please watch this video till the very end for additional practice problems. So let's get started with our very first example. We want to find the value of k for this given trinomial x squared minus 18x plus k such that this becomes a perfect square. And we know that a perfect square trinomial will always have a discriminant b squared minus 4ac equal to 0. That means we must find the value of this discriminant. And for that purpose, we are going to find the values of A, B, and C. Now let's compare this given trinomial with our standard form of this quadratic expression. We can see that A is simply 1, okay? And B is negative 18 and c is k. So let's go ahead and calculate the value of b squared minus 4ac and we have a, b and c right up here. So our b is negative 18 squared minus 4 times a is 1 and c is k equal to 0. And the square of negative 18 is uh, 324 and this simply become minus 4k equal to 0. Let's move this negative 4k on the other side. So 324 equal to 4k. Let's divide both sides by 4. So that means k value turns out to be 81. So thus our k value turns out to be 81 and that is our answer. And here is our next example. We are going to find the value of this given trinomial such that this becomes a perfect square. And we know that a perfect square trinomial will always have a discriminant b squared minus 4ac equal to 0. Let's go ahead and calculate the value of this discriminant. And for that purpose, we are going to find the values of a, b, and c. And here is the standard form of a quadratic equation. Let's compare this one with our given trinomial, we can see that our a equals to 25, b is 20, and c is simply k. Now we are going to calculate the value of b squared minus 4ac, and we know that in our case, b is 20, so we're going to put down 20 squared minus 4 times a is 25 and c is k and let's set it equal to 0. Let's simplify 20 square equals to 400 minus 4 times 25 is 100 k equal to 0. Let's move this negative 100 k on the other side. So we got 400 equal to 100 k Let's divide both sides by 100 to isolate k. So that means our k values turned out to be simply 4. Thus our k value turns out to be a 4 and that is our answer. And here is your assignment. Can you do, do these problems on your own? You can take your time. Luckily, I have already uploaded this video as well. Please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.